All right, guys, here I am again. It's Ash. I'm still playing Amnesia Machine for Pigs. I think this will be episode 27, because I'm pussyfooting around and making, like, 10 billion episodes, because I can't go, like, pussyfoot around and get scared, and... Ugh. All right. Well, I, uh, encountered another electric fucking teleporting pig dude, and I didn't beat his ass. I beat his ass. Let's just say that. I just beat his ass. But, um, I I'm at the heart of the machine. I turned some fucking springy things on that started electrocuting the heart or something. I don't know. I'm going to destroy the machine. The machine's pissed off, so hopefully he doesn't send some pigs to eat my fucking face off. That'd be nice. Right. Heart's in there. So I'm going to touch that shit. Whoa! What the fuck? What the fuck? Enoch, Edwin, Oswald, and I. There's no fucking quote there. It's just Edwin, Enoch. Okay. That don't look good. What the fuck's all that in there? Looks like they're fucking making sausage or something. That's good. There's people working. All right. They look like people and not pigs. So that's nice, I guess. I don't fucking know. I'm hoping Fraps picked up my loading screen because it stopped doing that shit, so. We'll see. Steve's cat is sitting on the desk staring at me. She's staring at me. I guess I'll pet her, I don't know. Artia! Okay, game started. Can't pet you no more. Door up against my hand. Can't pet you no more. Madness. Listen to your heart. You know you are with me. You created me to save the world. I am your friend. The machine? What the fuck? Why is it all fucking purple? What's down here? I wanna go down here. Creepy noises. Creepy machine parts. Disco balls. Alright, I obviously gotta do stuff in here. That's gonna take way too long to walk to the end of that. Everything's fucking tilting around. That's crazy. I can hear a heart beating. What do I do? What's this in here? What the fuck? There's a person in there? Alright. Open it up. That's fucking creepy as shit. There's fucking stuff going in all his fucking parts. Is that the machine? What do I do? Open it up. Let me take a look at that shit. Is it fucking Mr. House from Fallout New Vegas? <laughs> fucking Vite is in there? Okay. What do I do? That's too freaky. I don't want to look at that shit no more. Okay, let's just go down here. The, the corridor. Rock him from side to side. Mandus, please, I am no more evil than you. We sought the same thing, to save humanity, ridding them of their painful, stupid, pointless lives. You're an asshole. Just let fucking sleeping pigs lie, dude. God. Oh my goodness gracious. Mandus, stop. Think about what you are doing. For your children, Mandus. Do not speak of my children, monster. I did not kill your children, Mandus. You Whoa, he fucking did kill him! Knowing what the coming century would do to them. Your sons will drown, lungs full of mud and shrapnel on the banks of the Somme. You wanted to save them from the horror to come. That is the vision we shared. Everything we have built to avert this coming nightmare. You and I are one. We are the same. Our souls are entangled. We deserve to make them free! Uh, no we fucking don't. Uh, he just sacrificed his fucking kids in a fucking Aztec temple. Yeah, absolutely fucking not. I'm not okay with that shit. At all. Can I go down there? What is this? Alright, let's go for it. Let's ride the fucking... It's a small world. Oh, fucking Edwin and Enoch are up there? Hey, dude. Hey, guys. Being super fucking creepy? Awesome. 
the fuck is that? More fucking kids up there? Thanks! They're all over the fucking place. God! Stop with that creepy bullshit! There's a centrifuge up there. I remember the centrifuge. What is this? That's creepy! That's like some The Shining shit! What the fuck? Blue lights up there? Oh, it's the fucking fire? Is that the Iron Butler? Oh, is that a pig guy? Hey, pig guy, is he alive? He looks pretty fucking dead. Oh, he's hanging out with my kids? I didn't see that shit! Bad eyesight, what the fuck? This is pretty dreamlike. I'm thinking this is like a hallucination or something. At least a kid part. They all turned off behind me. Perfect. That was creepy as fuck. People screaming. That looks super fucking terminal, doesn't it? Alright. Gonna do it. Let's go. Can't turn my lantern on no more. Oh, it's a it's an Aztec temple. Oh my goodness. I have stood knee deep in mud and bone and filled my lungs with mustard gas. I have seen two brothers fall. I have lain with holy wars and copulated with the autumnal fallout. I have dug trenches for the refugees. I have murdered dissidents where the ground never thaws and starved the masses into fate. A child's shadow burnt into the brickwork. A house of skulls in the jungle. The innocent, the innocent Manders trod and bled and gassed and starved and beaten and murdered and enslaved. This is your coming century. They will eat the manders. They will make pigs of you all. And they will bury their snaps into your ribs. And they will eat your hearts. Wow, I'm getting some super chills. That's good. The fucking music is just killing me right now. The altar, there's toys. It's kind of a weird effect on my vision. Is this the machine from the beginning of the Please game? Please the snow for your children. There's a mask on it. There's another mask there. Awesome. Yeah, sit down in it. What's that gonna do? Is that? A oh, is that a kid? Oh, what the fuck is this doing? Taking my heart out? Do it! I'm gonna fucking do it! Do it! I felt that. Look upon my worsty, mighty, and despair, right? Ozymandias, Oswald Mandis. My kids are whispering again. Did I beat the game? Is that the two hearts? with his kids now, at least. That's pretty sad. I lay there and watched the god I had created die. At the end, when we were cold as the stone we had hewn his body from, when the lights were nearly all extinguished, we heard in the silent distance the man pigs singing to one another. Then, as the last lights were gone, and we lay together in the deep, 
they drifted away, and all was silent. Such a silence I have never known. And as the dust settled on my open eyes, and we lay together embraced forever, I heard, miles above us, the sounds of the city turning over in its sleep. A church bell ringing out. And in that moment, the new century was born. Wow, that was, oh, I beat it, yes! Oh, God, awesome, I'm so happy I beat the game! Oh, oh my God, I did it, guys! I'm so happy for myself. Let's dance in the background. All right. Dan Pinchbeck, man, he is a god his writing. I wish I could write like that. The, compute, the computational magicry was by fictional games. Machine and its surrounding architectures were given form by these people. Jessica Curry, she's good. I like her music a lot. Dan Pinchbeck, man. Gotta keep, I'm gonna keep an eye on that guy, because he's going places. The fine citizens of London that all got killed. Toby Longworth, the machine and the professor. The machine, uh, he was called the machine, not the orb, he was called the machine, okay. Oscar Pinchbeck. Was he related to Dan Pinchbeck? Cool. I don't like the song in the background. Helpful icons for your assistance and orientation. Well, that's cool. I know all the little bits and pieces that went into it. The test subjects that did point out what was it inefficient, unethical, or broke. <laughs> wow. That was pretty intense. I, I like that. I do understand now people are saying it's not as scary as The Dark Descent, and I think a lot of people were expecting The Dark Descent but I was expecting something more like Dear Esther because I knew Chinese Room was doing most of it. And it the great unknown masses of piggy fodder what did scream for us. And the party that leans upon the workers but serves the bourgeois, or I can't pronounce that shit, in the period of the greatest sharpening of the class struggle cannot but sense the smells wafted from the waiting grave. Leon Tr Trotsky. Yeah. Um, I was expecting it to be like Dark Dear Esther, so that's what I got, and that's what I wanted. And that was awesome, because I loved Dear Esther, and anyone who's watching this, please pick it up and play it. It's super short, it's super cheap, it is really, really good. There is a water part, though, so that part scared me, I have to make Steve do that shit for me. But, the it's really good. It's, uh, the script and the music, I have the soundtrack on my phone, it's just awesome. But... I can see why this wouldn't be as scary for some people as The Dark Descent, but it touched on a lot of my phobias, and that's probably why it got me so super scared. But I can understand how that wouldn't be as scary, but I'm scared of pigs, and that, that got me bad. So, yeah, I beat the game. I'm so happy for myself. Am I going to go back to the title screen? Yep. All right. Well, that's it, guys. I beat Amnesia Machine for Pigs. 27 episodes? 28 episodes? I don't fucking know. But I appreciate you guys watching it all the way through. 
and uh, I hope you guys come in and watch some of my playthroughs again. I'm gonna do Outlast, hopefully we'll give that a look, and otherwise still doing games with Steve. Working on Saints Row 4 right now, so. Yeah. Thanks for watching my videos, guys. I really appreciate it. My name's Ash, and you take care.